Hey tribe, welcome back. So as promised um, to some of you in one of the live readings, I said I'm going to do a fun reading, something different. So we're going to be looking at the preferences in the bedroom. So you may think of a person, uh, maybe you are in relationship with this individual, maybe you're dating them and we're going to tap in. Okay, we're going to be using cocaine tarot. It connects very well to the intimate uh, vibes and the bedroom and all of that jazz. Well, we'll see. If YouTube does not block this video, I'll be very happy. <laughs> Another thing, just a quick announcement. I have replied um, red for some of you in the comment section as promised in the last videos. So I haven't chosen only one. I think in a couple of videos I was drawn to two of you. So if you have your notifications on, you'll definitely be notified that I have responded to your comment go ahead and look through the video if you are unsure if your notifications are on or off and you'll be able to see who i responded to same thing we're gonna do here if you want to participate whoever comments down below this video whatever it is you don't have to just comment i agree uh, just to get that reading you can share something with me i always love to read your comments and type agree at the beginning or the end of your comment and I'll be doing the same thing. More or less a week after I posted this video, I'll come back to the comment section and I will read for one of you and I will respond to your comment, okay? So no need to give any personal information like an email or anything like that. Uh, everything is happening in the comment section. Okay, okay, let's go. Panel number one right here. I'm gonna show you the card from the close up. It does have a little bit of a sheer to it. So see which texture you're drawn to, which color combo, which texture. Some of them consist more of that kind of orangey red color. Some of you may be able to see something in one of these cards maybe an image maybe a person see which one you are drawn to and as usual i will see you in timestamps hey group number one let's see uh what does this person prefer in the bedroom it's one of those fun waiting is and as i said if you skip the intro I'm still continuing doing the uh, quick readings for you in the comment section. So whoever comments, I agree or comment whatever you really you want. But if you want to participate, add I agree and I'll know that you are participating. More or less a week after I posted this reading, I'll come back to it and I will choose intuitively for whom to read. I will reply to your comment in the comment section. No need to give any personal info. Let's get to it, shall we? What does this person prefer in the bedroom? For some of you, it may be something that they have shared already. Uh, for others of you, it could be new information. Ooh, this person definitely likes it rough here. Okay. We have a lot of swords. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm being told to say um, that's something that this person would like to try. It's not that they would want to do this constantly. I feel like that's something that they would love to try. And again, swords, queen of swords at the bottom of a deck here. First thing first, what turns this person on is definitely what is being talked about and the mind itself. This person is, likes to be stimulated through mind first. And it's an interesting conversation that you that you have. It's also the con conversations that you would have in the bedroom. This person would want you to be vocal in the bedroom and they themselves probably want to do the same. I don't feel that for some of you, you may be dealing with an individual who wants to do that, but they may be a little bit shy when talking either dirty or saying something in the midst of action. But I would say they would be really, really glad uh, to hear you talk during the act. What they really don't like is when someone is quiet, is silent. They like some sort of noise or moaning in the bedroom. If it's not dirty talk, then some sort of sounds. It does turn them off 
very much. Another thing that I'm seeing here, um, this person really likes... <laughs> Uh, this person uh, really likes uh, to play games, role-playing, specifically in doctor's office, it seems like. They would want to imagine something happening between the client and the, and the, and the doctor. Mm, the patient and the doctor. Uh, this person would like to try wearing gloves in the bedroom. It seems like medical gloves. Uh, this is someone who... And what's happening to the, into their fantasies? And again, I'm saying this is not something that they would want to do every time. That's something that they would want to do um, once in a blue moon. And if you would like that, this person would definitely like doing it a bit more frequently. That's for sure. This person likes to imagine scenarios. That's what turns them on. So when we talked about doctor's office, uh, another thing that I'm seeing here with a chariot card right here, say um, they would want to play a role of an intruder, okay? Um, they tie you up and then the game starts from there on. Another thing that I'm seeing here, this person would want to try if they haven't tried just yet to be whipped uh, this person really appreciates your torso by the way um, this is some this is something that they would say i really like your waist i really like how your waist looks like and i like how your back looks like when i'm able to see it mm -hmm. let's see what else is here um, this person is more of a person uh, of an under boob, boob than side boob. Or just it, it turns them, turns them on. So if you say you lifted your your shirt, your blouse, and you only exposed the uh, under boob, they would be they would go nuts. This person would definitely go nuts. Now, if we're talking about a woman, what woman likes, if you are a male watching this, um, she likes to do it from the back, that's for sure. She also likes when male has a very strong white chest. She'd probably like to caress it quite, uh, quite often during sex. She would want to see your chest. Um, another thing that I'm seeing here, uh, for some of you males watching, this may be a, a person who needs to have a drink or two in order for her to relax her mind uh, because she may be a little bit too much in her head. So if you know how to get her out of the head without a drink, you would literally be a god in her eyes, okay? <laughs> get her out of her head. Now coming back to... Um, Coming back to a perspective as if a female is asking about what this male persona likes in the bedroom. Um, they, they are a lot about curves, this person. This person uh, really likes curves and likes meat on the bones and likes those places. And this person likes biting and kissing and touching those places this person is not someone who would um, be very turned on by someone who's super skinny this person needs a curve somewhere doesn't matter where it is for them to be honest a soft belly as well this is not a person who likes a six-pack um, and we're just purely talking body wise okay purely talking the exterior wise this is not a reading where we're looking at um, the um, emotional connection. We are purely looking at the body itself. This person appreciates uh, someone's butt here. Um, it's coming through a couple of times. The way she has her hand over here. This guy's kind of, it looks like he was glancing here, then he lifted his head. We're being shown a side of a butt here. We see a butt right here, the next card again. So this person really likes your butt. Again, in these readings, don't ask questions um, about a person with whom you haven't had any contact with. It's just a waste of time and it's not going to be beneficial for you. It's best to ask questions um, about a particular person that you already had a contact with, someone that you're building a relationship with, someone who you are 
who you trust, with someone who would want to experiment. So definitely someone who you feel very comfortable with, okay? Let's see what else. This person would want to observe you uh, before sex even happened. So if you know how to dance or if you are comfortable with dancing a little bit, I'm not seeing, seeing full on strip vibes, right? It doesn't have to be this way. Um, just play some music in the background and move your hips a bit and this person will be over the freaking moon. So that's what I got for pile number one. Again, a reminder, if you want to participate, type agree with your comment in the comment section and let me know if you like these kind of kinky fun type of types of readings i can do them uh, maybe a bit more frequently because i think i've only done once maybe maximum two readings like that before so i'll see you in the next one bye for now Hey group number two, before we start, if you skip the intro, if you want to join what I do recently, I ask you guys together with whatever you want to comment below this video, type agree if you want to participate, being involved in, it's kind of, I don't know how to call it, a little game uh, <laughs> that I do where I basically intuitively choose one of you or a couple of you that I want to read for in the comment section. And um, if you want to be a part of it, type agree together with your comment, okay? More or less a week later from when I posted this video, I'll come back to the comment section. I will scroll past it and I'll see which person I land on. So the previous ones were already done today. Um, and I've chosen more than one people in a couple of videos because I felt more drawn to more people. So it's not only one person every time. I feel it through. Let's come back to your topic. What does this person like in the bedroom? And as I said in pile number one, don't ask questions what the person likes in the bedroom about someone with whom you have no contact or with whom you don't have any intimacy or no relationship is being built there because it's just purely a waste of time. Unless you just want to approach it as just a fun waiting, I wouldn't take it too seriously. This is for my people who are already in relationships or for people who are dating that individual and someone who feels very comfortable exploring certain things with them, okay? Let's go. No kidding, pile number two. My phone got overheated, temperature too high <laughs> in this reading. I didn't even notice at first and I was talking and hey, so I had to put it in the freezer for five minutes and pile number two is definitely a, a heated situation over here. If you have not had a chance to be intimate with this person just yet, sorry, I'm just gonna get comfortable here. Expect fire, expect freaking fire. Straight away, when it comes to the bedroom, what kind of lover this person is, a very mature one, okay? This is not someone who would leave uh, their partner unsatisfied. This is someone who wants to take their time. This is someone who would spend as much time as necessary uh, to make sure that you are good. And they will first make sure that you are good and then take care of themselves, okay? This is someone who also likes to play games, um, the sex for them it doesn't necessarily have to be just a sexual intercourse um, it could be playing with hands right they, they want to see you satisfied this person and um, since 98 percent of my people watching here if not 99 are females i'm taking this reading from the female perspective right this person would find you really attractive and a very sexual sexy when you are at home just early in the morning your hair is not brushed you're making coffee you're wearing maybe your nightgown or pajamas still and you maybe even haven't had a chance to go to the shower this person freaking loves that okay that's something that turns them on big big time now another thing that i'm seeing here this person loves to would love to take you on dates and what would turn them on then is um, when someone is dressed in a very classy manner, 
a little black dress for example or if we're talking um, if we do vice versa then for a woman it would be a man who wears a really clean shirt especially black color is coming through here this person definitely likes black on you uh, let's see what else what they like in the bedroom they really like when someone kisses their neck area it turns them on big time even the breathing breathing of someone else in their neck it, it gets them turned on straight away this is someone who's into a very nice lingerie and and they would want to see that in the bedroom it's not a must for them again this is a person who um, is not self-centered when it comes to a bedroom they would appreciate if you put something nice on but it is not a must and um, this they would prefer in the evening though in morning time they like you with messed up hair no makeup kind of still having your own order after the night and I don't mean stinky um, your own hormones that is not being washed off with a morning shower they love that they love to smell your hair they love when you just wake up they love morning sex I feel like they prefer morning sex over the evening or afternoon sex it's it's their thing it's their thing for sure let's see what else we got here group number two Mm -hmm. uh, either you're a smoker or they're a smoker I'm not sure which one but cigarette after sex is a great thing and the and even that for them it, it kind of turns them on um, if you were a smoker they would probably observe you you know just after sex having a cigarette it's maybe your hair is a bit messy you know you still have that kind of steam <laughs> you're steaming still that's something that they definitely find very attractive this is someone who could go many rounds this is not someone who finishes super fast and they would, wouldn't even want to because is the journey to the O that is the most important thing for them and is the most enjoyable part for them. They're not the one who would be rushing to get an orgasm and get it over and done with. This is someone who thinks of sex as a, I don't wanna say a performance, but it's, it's an act and that act has to, has to last because the act itself is what is fun and enjoyable for them. Mm-hmm. Let's see anything else. This is not for many of you here with the Six of Wands. Uh, some of them may be um, into um, cuffing you or trying this out, but I don't feel like it's for many of you. Maybe literally to people who I'm talking to. See, this person doesn't need a lot of extra either toys um, or crazy outfits in the bedroom this is someone who likes it raw who likes who likes it real who prefers you natural and prefers your scent over the perfume this is that type of individual this is someone who um, I feel like they may be older than you or in general we're talking about someone who's in their maybe 35 50 from 35 to 50 years old that's what kind of um, maturity I'm getting from them and this is someone who knows how to please a person definitely they take their time listen they take their time unless they are very tired and um, they will let you know then that hey don't feel like I can go long today I feel like my body's a bit tired but they again they would make sure even if they finished faster they would make sure that you're satisfied afterwards so um, this is the gentleman a keeper type of individual that we're seeing in the cards here in the bedroom someone who likes class someone who likes natural someone who likes rawness and authenticity and that's what turns them on
I hope this made sense. If you want to participate again, as I said before, type agree together with your comment. Or if you need more content, find me on Patreon. Hey, panel number three, let's see what we have for you. What does this person like in the bedroom? Just before we start, as I'm shuffling the cards, if you skip the intro, if you want to join, type I agree in the comments or together with your comment, see something else. I always love reading your comments. If you want to be included in me reading for you in the comment section. So I'll go back a week or so from posting this video. I'll go back to this video and I will scan through who I feel drawn to for reading and I would reply to your comments. So there is no need to give me your email or anything like that. Just have your notifications on. Let's see. What does this person like in the bedroom? Temperance. Eight of coins. High priestess. The sun. Seven of Swords. We're not looking at the meanings here, by the way. We're looking purely at the imagery here. Queen of Coins. Four of Wands. And this is the Cocaine Tarot. And we have the Two of Swords. Bottom of a deck, let's speak. We have the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. What does this person like in the bedroom? I'm going to adjust you very quickly because I see the camera is off a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is definitely someone who likes to be strangled, let me tell you. This is someone who likes the stockings, especially ripping the clothes off if, um, if that's possible for them. Um, they would even probably want to buy something that they, they would be able to rip off of you. This person really, really loves that kind of stuff. This is someone who loves ropes, handcuffs. This is someone who would want to try that if they haven't tried it before again we're tapping into someone's fantasy here we're not looking at something that they do every time they have sex so it may be an occasional thing or it may be something that they keep thinking about that they would want to try out uh, this is someone who likes uh sorry my phone storage was full this is someone who uh, would want to see the other person in an innocent light that's something that turns them on i don't know maybe um a, a, innocent looking skirt or it could be whatever really i feel like this person may be also into anime and stuff like that mm. they like the innocence in the eyes that's something that turns them on i don't feel though for pile number three that this person has had a lot of partners um i feel that this person is still has a lot to try still uh, maybe a little bit inexperienced when it comes to bedroom and it doesn't matter how they show themselves for the outside world right what they talk about you know how they how they stand you know, what they say they may show off as someone who is very experienced but in reality i don't feel like they are because i'm not seeing that this person knows exactly what they're like just yet because there's a lot of things that they haven't tried and I feel like um, this person hasn't had a deep, deep relationship where they felt that they could be mm, that they could be safe to exp explore some of the fantasies. So maybe they didn't um, have such a long-term relationship, or even if they had a long-term relationship, maybe their partner was very closed off or very very shy and it was really difficult for this person to talk about certain things sex wise it could be the case too it seems like this person hasn't opened up opened up completely when it comes to um, the bedroom really i feel like there is shyness to them they also may be afraid to do something that you don't like so the best case would be here that you would be very vocal um what to do i don't want to say that you're gonna have to navigate them you know throughout the whole intercourse but if they doing something that you don't necessarily either like or doesn't feel good to you 
just either taking their hand and putting it somewhere else or just very softly telling them, hey, I really like it when you do that instead of this. I think this person would thank you. And some of you may say that, oh, I don't want someone who is inexperienced in the bedroom. But really, I feel like this is someone who, who is very loyal. This person is very loyal. This person is like a little bit like a scared animal. That's the vision that I'm getting. Um, I don't know what scared them in the past, but it seems like they don't want to let someone down, especially during the intimate time. So don't be afraid to talk to one another with this person in the bedroom and say what you like and what you don't like. Uh, having a conversation and also asking them what they prefer would be a best case scenario so that you're opening up those doors and they're able to ask you same questions. So you're both on the same page. You're both kind of exchanging information and you both make each other feel safe. Okay, so that's something that I wanted to mention. Let's continue here. Um, in their wildest fantasies, because again, I keep seeing that this individual is either inexperienced or a bit shy. Maybe because of the way they were raised too, that could be a thing. Uh, this person would love to watch you play with yourself. That's something that they would really like to see one day. That would turn them on bad. This is someone who would also want to uh, put some food on you and, and lick it off. This is someone who very much kind of explores through their mouth. They're very much into kissing. They're very much into tasting you. This is someone who definitely would want to go down on you or really likes doing BJs. This is someone who in a partnership, they go, it's my pleasure type of thing. You know, it's my pleasure. It's not like a... Um, it doesn't tire me out. I can do it for a really long time. I really like to watch you getting pleased. Mm. I don't feel like this person would want anything crazy in the bedroom, like having certain toys or adding something uh, from the get go. Um, I feel like this person would prefer easing into sex and easing into and maybe they move a little bit slower. They need to feel safe uh, in order to open up to you. But once I feel like those doors are open, that's when you're able to, to see the wild side of them. So at first they may seem a little bit reserved, but I feel like the more you get to know this person, the more uh, you spend time with each other you'll see the wild wild side of them and that side of them is gonna definitely turn you on mm, i feel like with this person you you would have once you kind of crossed over that threshold right um you would probably want to have sex at least at the beginning three times a day and that's something that this person would want to do too it seems like you couldn't you can't get your hands off of each other but something the the breaking point has to happen where you both feel safe here and you both go okay i can't completely let go with you i can switch off my mind or i don't have to really think uh, be in my head during sex this person is more of a booty person than boobs person for sure Um, this person really likes when a woman has wide hips. They, they like hips, just grabbing you by the hips. That's something that turns them on. It's wild for them. Hips and ass, it is. Mm -hmm. This is someone who could probably even at some point want to try certain things with candles and wax, certain sensations on the skin. See, they want to try a lot with you. They want to try what you haven't tried. They want to focus on the first times and that would honor them too, that you, you only done that with them or you only 
both of you have a lot of first times together in the bedroom so it feels like a journey here it doesn't feel like a fling to me it feels like a development of a relationship it's not only you know sex 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 and that's it yeah i told you this person is an ass person for sure and hips they keep coming through here mm. Either this person would want to slightly choke you, that turns them on, but I really feel that they like that too, so maybe you would want to try it on them, just grabbing them by the neck and just holding your hand there. I'm not literally talking about actual choking, unless some of you are into that and they will be into that. It seems like just firmly holding um, this person's neck turns them on very very much so i don't see that this person is into bondage or anything a bit more extreme this is someone who wants to who doesn't want to experience everything at once they want to prolong it uh, one thing that i feel that could happen with this individual they may finish a bit faster than you prefer them to but um, it may be either nerves or too much excitement at first i feel like it's not long term it won't be like this it won't be like this so i hope this made sense plan number three if you need more content find me on patreon and if you want to participate type agree together with your comment at the beginning or the end of it doesn't matter and i will see you in the next one bye for now